Good day to each and every one of you that are watching me um, now on IG. I may post this to Facebook and YouTube. I just have a few thoughts about Fred Hammond leaving officially the group commission. Now, somebody, a lot, a few of you have said in the chat, like I did not know that commission was still singing or either you were saying that you thought he been left and all this kind of stuff. So let me catch you up on what's been happening in the gospel music community. Cause I don't, I don't know how y'all missed that. If you follow LRL sometime back, I can never find these hoes. I don't know how these women do it. I always have to. Okay. Sometime back, um, commission announced reunion. So you started saying commission reunion tour, commission reunion tour, commission reunion tour. And I remember they put out a flyer and this particular flyer that they put out looked like an obituary, an obituary announcing that all of the group members of commission had not went on to be with the Lord now. I can't never find a hole. If I don't have no mirror, I just can't find it. Anyway, oh God, got it. So... And you know, that's when Fred Hammond went live. He tagged me. He put me in a post and, and said that his family members were Bob and all that kind of stuff. Since then, me and Fred, as far as online social media, we're cordial. We, we got past that. I, I apologized and life went on. Um, so this is the the first time since all of that I posted anything Fred Hammond. He was live on the 15th of October having a conversation and someone in, who looks familiar to me, maybe one of the groups of, one of the people of commission, I don't know if the person looked familiar to me, and asked him, what is he going to be doing as far as commission, reunion tour, commission, some other things that they were trying to do, a biopic. And he basically said that he's pretty much out, that he's not dealing with moving forward with commission. Now, what I did not know is that this was something that would be a shock to commission themselves. Let me read you the statement that they posted online under commission fans. And this is on Facebook. They posted it <clears throat> yesterday, day before yesterday at 9.37 a.m. And this is what they said. They said, on the behalf of the remaining members of the commission reunion... We would like to let it be known publicly that we are all shocked by Fred Hammond's statements that were posted on social media. There has been no conversation, and this is commission talking, there has been no conversation whatsoever with any of us regarding this matter prior to his post. So when we saw that live and the post I made um, from that live, all of that was a shock to commission that, that to all of them and probably the management and everybody connected it was just a shot according to this we found out about this on social media just as you all did with that being said we respect his decision to no longer be a part of the group's future and we pray blessings over his ministry and future endeavors as remaining members of Commission Reunion, we will keep you all informed of our future plans. Now, you know, over the last six years, there have been a resurgence of old groups in gospel and secularly, particularly R&B, coming back together or attempting to come back together. Same thing when it comes to certain TV shows, reboots. We've been watching reboots of so many different shows that we liked in times past. So this is a thing that is happening and it's great business and it's a great idea because a lot of people that enjoy that, they're still alive. So it calls out to 40, 50, 60 year old audience. And you do know the people that's listening to radio and watching TV are between the ages of 25 to 55. But now that's really changed and it's really like 30 to 65. So it's smart to do what they are doing. So they were still operating and actually had a tour. Those of you that are in gospel, you, you love commission like I do. I mean, I can't say that I was a 
huge fan, but there's certain hits that, you know, we all know. Who is the king of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. And what else? Tis so sweet to trust in the way that they've done. Just to take, man, his word. Hey, that was great. Um, running back to you. La, 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 la. Leandra sang it on, um, on when she was competing. And another one. The ordinary just won't do. I need to love the spirit and true. I can always find it in you, Jesus. The ordinary just won't do. I need to love the spirit and true. I now, see, if you, you love gospel, you, you know at least one of those hits that I just sang. You, you know one of them. And so, um, John talking about saying that. I wasn't even really trying to sing. You know, so I'm going to say this about Fred Hammond's um, live video and what I think about it. It's just, it's just during business. If he wanted to leave, if he wanted to pop up on live, well, if he wanted to pop, that's a different conversation. Him wanting to leave and making a decision not to do whatever it is that they were doing concerning the, the reunion tour, that is 100% on him. Getting online and saying it, I don't think he planned to do it. If you watch the video, it was like he was asked on the spot. He was like, well, full transparency right now. You for real? All right. Let me say it. And he said it. I don't think he planned it. Um, but clearly... It's a shock to commission according to the post that they posted that I just read. So let me say this, and this may be a little um, different than what most of you will, will, will say, but this is how I feel. Look, right now, man, this is 2022. And if you're doing business with anybody from your past or from your past organization or you won with this person, so you're trying to work with them now and win again in this season. It's great if that works out. But when you start getting little red flags, maybe it's the talks around money. Maybe it's the talks around how things should be done or the overall vision for the comeback or whatever. And that thing don't fit and sit down good with what you got going on personally and what you're trying to do. It's okay to say, okay, we're done as it relates to this business. Now, this does not mean that Fred is upset with the members of commission or him and Marvin fighting or however, it just means that it's just not a fit as it relates to what he feel like he's supposed to do for himself. Maybe we all need to pay attention to what he's doing and embrace this for our own personal life. If you're trying to make something fit and trying to make something work just because of your love for the person or however, you know, you can love yourself just as much as you do the idea of y'all being a, being in a partnership or a friendship or relationship or business deal or whatever and choose yourself. Hopefully you can still maintain those relationships and everybody can understand that we both need to go two separate ways because what you need and what I need is one of us is going to end up in a, in a deficit. You know, so I don't see anything wrong with this. I don't see anything. Him and Marvin got to fight, and I don't know nothing about that. But what I'm just saying, we we can make up anything we want to make up. But what we see is that Fred Hammond is just going his his own direction. A little sad. I mean, because, you know, reunion groups, we love that. But it happens. I mean, it happens. See, the caravans change the members 159 times. Kurt Franklin have 159 different choirs that he put out CDs with. You know, um, the Clark sister that went from five to four. You know, it's, it's I mean, it happens. It is, and fans always feel a certain kind of way. But I'm not in the business of trying to push somebody to go do something they do not want to do. If you have not seen the video of Fred Hammond saying that he was no longer in the group and was not going to be working with them, Make sure you go to my IG or my Facebook is posted there.